Star Wars. Book 1, Part 4, Skywalker Strikes. It's the period of renewed hope for the Rebellion. The evil galactic empire's greatest weapon, the Death Star, has been destroyed and now the Rebel Alliance looks to press its advantage by unleashing a daring offensive throughout the far reaches of space. Princess Leia Organa and her team of rebels have just completed a daring mission where they managed to infiltrate and destroy the largest Imperial weapons factory in the galaxy. Their success was owed in large part to the valiant efforts of young Luke Skywalker who, at one point during the battle, stood face to face with the unstoppable Darth Vader himself. But Luke finds little cause for celebration in the victory. He has now seen the full power of the Force in action and knows he has a very long way to go if he ever hopes to become a true Jedi. The illustrious Jabba bids you welcome to the humble sands of Tatooine. And he hopes that these negotiations prove beneficial for all. You may dispense with the pleasantries. We will begin the negotiations now. Give the Emperor what he wants and he will allow you to live. This concludes the negotiations. Ho ho ho. I see why the Emperor sent you to me, Lord Vader. You are a man who knows how to strike a bargain. Then I trust you accept the Emperor's generous offer. How could I deny my good friend the Emperor in his time of need? Even here on Tatooine we have heard the stories of what happened to his Death Star and his weapons factory on Kamon One. Such terrible tragedies. Rebel lies and propaganda. Speak no more of them. All I would hear from you, Hutt, is your acceptance of the terms. Ho ho ho. Of course. Tell my good friend the Emperor that whatever meager resources I contour belong also to the Empire. He may have whatever he needs to build his star destroyers and feed his stormtroopers and kill his rebels. All I ask in return from my friend is that he pay me well. You will be paid whatever he decides to pay you. Despite all the Empire's splendid Nogasans here, the Outer Rim is still a wild place, Lord Vader, and Coruscant is so very far away. It would be a shame if our shipments were to be intercepted by pirates or eaten by giant space lurks. You will find, Jabba, that the Empire is prepared to deal with pirates and space slugs as easily as we deal with obstinate huts. See that the shipments arrive on time and you may continue to enjoy whatever power you believe yourself to hold here. These men will tell you all that we require. Living so soon. After you travelled so far just to see me. Nonsense. A feast must be prepared in your honor, and entertainment as well. I do not know about you, my dear Lord of the Seas, but Jabba the Hutt prefers to see all his business ventures by watching something die. It's a miracle. It's a miracle this thing even flew. Were you blindfolded when you put it back together? I don't even know what this is. Nah, not so loud, Chewie. 
My head is still killing me. And for your information, I didn't crash that Imperial Walker. It was Vader, him and his, whatever you call it, his laser sword. <laughs> yeah, trust me, pal. I was there, and I still don't believe it. Hand me that microfuser. Yes, I am back together. No thanks to you, you cowardly dub of grease. No, I don't believe they did misassemble my personality circuits. What a horrible thing for you to say. After everything I've done for you. We're not doing enough. Since the Battle of Yaren and the destruction of the Death Star, the Rebel Alliance has staged more than a dozen different attacks on almost as many worlds. We bombed the shipyards at Kuat and the supply base on Imdar. You yourself, Princess, just destroyed one of the largest weapons factories in the galaxy. I'm not sure what more we could possibly be doing. We may have wounded the Empire, but they're far from crippled. We have to press our advantage now, or everything we've done will have been for nothing. The Empire is already making deals with Outer Rim gangsters to maintain their supply lines. They will replace everything they've lost if we give them time. With all due respect, Princess Organa, we simply cannot maintain the sort of offensive you're asking for, not when we're still on the run. Admiral Akbar is right. The bulk of our resources must go towards keeping this fleet in constant motion. Before we can change that, we need to find a place to land. A world where we can establish a new base of operation. I don't ask for much, Chancellor Mothma. You know that. I have my own team. Just let us do what we do best. From what I understand, you and your team barely made it off Cayman 1 alive. You cannot keep pushing them this hard, Leia. Or yourself. You've all been through so much. And that is exactly why we can't stop now. And when you say that, Princess, are you certain you speak for all of your team? Luke? I'm not interested, Leia. In what? In whatever mission you've come to try and talk me into. I told you, it was lucky we weren't all killed on the last one. You're too hard on yourself. I've seen you do such amazing things. Things only a Jedi could. I'm no Jedi! All I am is a danger to everyone around me. What you are is special. General Kenobi saw that. I don't know why you won't let yourself accept it. Ben's dead, just like my father. And when I tried to avenge them, Darth Vader swatted me away like I was an insect. Until I am something more than I am now, I shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't be around any of you. Luke, what are you saying? I'm sorry, Leia, but please, just let me go. Go? This is what you were born for. You can't. Go where? Luke. Welcome to Moss Eisley. We hear you're looking for someone. We hear you're even offering a reward. I sure am. A real big one. We'll take it. So you can help me find the guy I'm looking for. I didn't say that. I said we'd take it. Ah, I see. Well, in that case, knees. What? What did you? Ah! Ah! Voice activated smart targeting scatter blasters. Guess you boys don't have those on Tatooine yet, huh? They're all the rage on Narshida. You. What did you? You picked the wrong Rodians to make trouble with, you! And... Ah! I figured talk of a reward would bring the biggest thieves and cutthroats in town slithering out of their holes. 
and thieves and cutthroats are exactly what I need. I'm looking for the biggest one of them all, a smuggler by the name of Solo. Han Solo travels with a Wookiee in a piece of junk called the Millennium Falcon. You shoot us to pieces and expect us to help you, stupid bounty hunter. Who said I was a bounty hunter? Don't matter what you are, you won't be getting any answers out of these lips. Fine, be that way. Lips. Wait. Hold. Solo is non towering He fled off world after ambushing and murdering one of our brother Rodians named Greedo. Nobody knows where the coward is hiding. Trust me, if Solo was still around here, he'd be dead already. Yeah, I'm sure he would be. You're certainly a fearsome lot. I imagine I won't sleep right for weeks. Wait, we helped you. So what about the reward? You're alive, aren't you? But if you're hoping to stay that way, best remember one thing, boys. Han Solo belongs to me. <laughs> if you value that creature's life, you should tell it to never again do that in my presence. Oh, oh, oh. I like your Darth Vader. I am very glad that we are good friends now. You presume too much, Jabba. Do I? Just as I've helped your Emperor in his time of need, have I not done the same for you? I have no needs. I live only to serve the Emperor, as do we all. Yes, of course. But the Emperor does not always need to know just how it is he is being served, does he? Tell me, have the bounty hunters I provided proven adequate? You are warned to never speak of that again. We are not speaking of it now, my friend. We are merely listening to the sweet song of dying panthers. Soothing, is it not? Your bounty hunters had best prove adequate. The Wookiee's mission is simple enough, and as for the other, his target is only a boy. A boy who blew up a Death Star, though, yes? And if it's true that old Ben Kenobi was involved, perhaps a boy who fancies himself a Jedi as well. The Jedi are no more. Ha, huh. yes. Yet another reason why are such good friends. Kenobi, tell me all you know of his time here. Of course, many stories I will tell you of times that odd wizard was a thorn in my side. Guards, I grew up bored of panthers. Your exalted hut, the man screaming. Take us to the Sarlacc. Wait until you see it, Lord Vader. The Sarlacc is one of the few treasures this desolate world has to offer. It is still hard to believe that this boy of yours, this mighty warrior who destroyed the undestroyable Death Star, could possibly have come from these same empty dunes. Who knew anyone of not was ever born on Tatooine, eh? Luke, for the record, I think this is a bad idea. But if this is something you feel you have to do, I won't order you not to go. Just promise me you'll do your best to stay safe out there. The Rebel Alliance needs you back in one piece. Bad idea doesn't begin to cover it. This is just crazy. Kid, the entire Empire is out there searching the galaxy for the pilot who blew up the Death Star. What do you think will happen if they catch you? The Empire has no idea who I am, Han. And more importantly... Neither do I. 
I just know I'm not who I'm supposed to be. Not yet. I still have too many questions, and there's only one place in the galaxy where I can maybe start to get some answers. R2, set course for Tatooine. I'm looking for someone. Not you too. Like we told the other bounty hunter. We don't know where Solo's run off to. Solo can wait. Tell me all you know about a man named Kenobi. Kenobi? There's a Kenobi who lives outside of town, out in the June Sea. Some crazy old wizard. Why are you looking for him? Uh, never mind. I don't care. Kenobi's dead. And Boba Fett is asking the questions. <laughs>